This is a demo of the ESI E-Series e-mobile browser-based experience for agents on a queue. So first you're going to go to the web address that's provided by your administrator and then log in with either your email or your extension number and your password. And we will assist with setup. So first thing you'll see on your screen is just a view of the extensions on your system. And um, at the top here, you can see that your agent status is available for your phone, but you can view your status for your queues here. So I am currently logged out. So I'm going to go into log in here. Now, when I wanna go to pause, I can go to the same agent status from any view, any menu that I'm in and switch my status to pause and choose, there'll be customizable pause codes here. So if I wanted to pause for lunch, then that gives a way for the administrative um, staff to view when people went on pause during the day versus just logged out. So I'm going to unpause. So I'm logged in and you can see I'm in two queues here, customer service and sales. So on the side, you've got some contacts. There's nothing in here right now. Some chat that you can do with other people, um, users in your, your groups or whatever. I haven't done a whole lot there. A panel that just shows all the calls on the system that we can give agents access to or not. And then here we have the call center console. So the first thing is the queue panel. <clears throat> it's going to show you some information about your queues that you're in today, or you can change your view to be like this week, this month, what's been happening in the queue. You can view the agents that are um, associated with the queue and their status. So see, I'm the only one that's logged in at this moment in time, and there are no calls coming in. We're going to demo that in a minute, just kind of giving you an overview here. Then the wall board is going to give the agent um, a different type of view of the queue that's maybe a little bit easier to look at. So just at a glance, you can see um, for customer service, how many calls are waiting, the average wait time, <clears throat> average talk time, maximum waiting time, how many agents are logged in, which right now obviously is just me. Available agents, active calls. SLA is like a service level agreement, so if anybody... Um, didn't get answered or hung up, that detracts from the SLA. So you want the SLA to be high. Um, there's nothing because there's no information right now, but your answered missed abandoned rate and the date. And then you can use your drop down menu up here to view the same thing for any other queue that you might be in. And then as an agent, you can also edit where these widgets are. So if you want to move them around on your screen based on what you want to see, um, that kind of stuff, you can do all that. So, and you can, I think, just delete them if you don't want to see like the SLA, don't care about that, and then save. So I'm just going to leave this as is for now. So now I'm going to demo a couple of calls coming in and how that looks. So the first one is going to be um, ringing in here. I'm just calling in um, and I can see here on my screen, it says there's a call on the customer service queue. And then I can see the incoming caller's caller ID here, which is preferred. Um, I did have to allow, oops, I might have waited too long there. I do have to allow the app to use my microphone the first time so that it knows it's okay um, that I can make call, make and receive calls on this computer. So here's my call coming in and um, we'll just make another call here to a different um, queue. Not that it really matters, but. That's first in line and will be answered by the next available representative. Okay, so here, I'm just gonna move this over. I can see I have one waiting call here under sales, but I'm on customer service and there's zero waiting calls. So kind of interesting, it's telling me um, I called and made a couple of calls, but it's telling me what's going on here, that there was a missed call. That's because I didn't <laughs> enable my microphone. So then when I'm on a call, then I can, um, and the caller is hearing recordings there, however many in line or whatever. So here on a call, I can mute myself to the caller. I can place the call on hold and resume. Um, I can open up the dial pad and I can either click or use my numbers on my keyboard to dial. 
I can click here if I wanted to record a call just to save in my recordings. And then I can click to transfer, which is most of the time what your agents are going to be doing. So blind means you're going to enter the extension and then just send. So I'm going to do something for Roy, click to send and I'm done. Now I've got another call coming in and I can see it's for sales. And if I go to my wall board, I can kind of watch. So I've answered it here and I can see my answer rate and that kind of stuff. So um, it's giving me some information on my wall board, also on my Q panel. And then I've got my view of my call here. So that's basically the ACD agent experience here. Um, oh, and by the way, when you transfer to an attended, that means that you're going to announce. So I could dial um, somebody's extension, wait for them to answer, and then tell him it's so-and-so calling. And then I just click the green if he says, okay, and I've transferred the call. So, and then now I'm off of the, there aren't any calls right now coming in. So, um, I can see here, I've got uh, my views back to nothing going on really. And I have a low SLA because I called in and, and hung up, but that gives you a view kind of of what the agent experience is here on um, the e-mobile for browser. And also if I wanna make a call out, I can just click in this field here and I just type the number. So here I've just pulled up my, um, the phone on my desktop and I'm making a call here and I'm calling preferred. Hey, Connie. So Connie answered. So then I just can talk to her or whatever, and I'm going to hang up. So that's the, um, a quick view of the agent experience.